or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Haley, and I thought it was only right that we start off the new year with some new books. So last night, I headed out to Barnes & Noble. They were doing a huge sale of 50% off all of their hardcovers, including all of, like the limited edition copies. And honestly, it was such a steal. Most of the books that I ended up picking up were about 13, 14 bucks, which ended up being even cheaper than majority of the paperbacks at Barnes and Noble. So, you know, I went a little bit hard. I had just filmed a declutter video, decluttering my bookshelves, which if you haven't seen that one yet, I'll have it linked down below. I went through everything on my shelf and got rid of books that I've already read and don't want to keep. So it was the perfect time to fill up my bookshelves again, but I cannot even explain how packed this Barnes & Noble was last night. I have never seen it so crowded in my entire life. Everyone was swarming these hardcovers, so it was a little bit hard. It took a lot of time to kind of maneuver the crowds and read through all of the covers. And I ended up going with a lot of books that I hadn't previously heard or seen anything about. So I'm super excited. I have quite, quite a few to get through. I think I have eight total. I have one, two, three, four, five six seven eight nine nine new books as well as this nike coffee table book that i have been eyeballing this one normally retails for 90 i want to say so it was really exciting to score this one 50 percent off all of like their larger like coffee table or photo books were 50 percent off as well and they had so many good ones but by the time i was there everything was pretty picked over anyways if you're already subscribed to my channel and have been watching for a while you know that i am obsessed with shoes specifically sneakers and even more specifically Nike. This was a book that I have had my eye on for a while. I think it is so, so cool. I was really excited to snag this one. Even the spine is so cool. This is going to look amazing on our like TV stand. But getting into what everyone is here to see. So the first thing I saw when I walked into Barnes & Noble was the newest edition of Verity by Colleen Hoover. I love this hardback. I think this is the only hardback copy of any Colleen Hoover book that I own. So kind of exciting and I've been wanting to read that additional chapter for a while. Although I have seen some reviews that it was still kind of like inconclusive interested to see what that actually means but i really just wanted to have this copy i love this book and this is such a cool one to have in my collection then i picked up city of likes by jenny mullen and this is one that i've seen several times while perusing barnes and noble but i've just never ended up picking it up a compulsively entertaining and unforgettable satire of the seductive allure of social media as well as the unsettling portrait of female relationships motherhood and our picks or it didn't happen culture well, i've definitely seen a few people review this people that i follow um and i have been wanting to check it out this one kind of surrounds a mom influencer an insta mom which i just read another thriller about an instagram mom and it wasn't that great i think it was called people like her i'll insert it here definitely a three star read overall but I enjoy reading books like this about like the dark side of social media and especially the ones of like parents Instagram. So I think that this one will be pretty good. This one, I was immediately drawn to the cover. Look at how cool that is. I love the colors, the artwork, even the back is really awesome. This one is called The Most Precious Substance on Earth by Shashi. This book is kind of focused on the darkness in the world surrounding women and what women have to go through the quote on the inside jacket is but wait what happened to the girl i don't know i say i tell him that what will happen to her is what happens to every girl on her tumultuous past from 90s high school student to present day high school teacher nina will learn difficult truths about existing as a woman in the world this book examines the fraught relationships between those who take and those who have something taken from them the most precious substance on earth is how silence can shape a life i'm definitely anticipating a darker heavier sort of read with this one i'm curious to see what it's all about okay and this one sounded fun this is a tidy ending by joanna cannon and also loved the cover art on this one a serial killer a trauma woman and the quirkiest of characters a delightfully sinister novel about a married woman living a simple life in the suburbs but 
things aren't always what they seem. So this one's a little bit more of a domestic thriller. Linda's husband Terry isn't perfect, but that seems fairly standard until he starts keeping odd hours around the same time that young women in town go missing. Some secrets can't stay buried forever. This one sounds like a fun little thriller. And if you look at the cover art, she's got some cleaning products, some gloves. It's gonna be a good one. On to bag number two. I think I mostly, I was gonna say, I think I mostly got thrillers, but actually I don't know if that's true. This is one that I've been wanting to read for so long. It's always posted on the Reese's book club Instagram. I see it all the time. So I was really excited when this one was on sale. This is Counterfeit by Kirsten Chen. The story of two Asian American women who band together to grow a counterfeit handbag scheme into a global enterprise. An incisive and glittering blend of fashion, crime, and friendship. This book has raving reviews. I've seen so many positive reviews of this one that I really can't wait to dive right in. Okay, I just noticed the pages on this one are like frayed. I don't know if they're supposed to be. As I'm like flipping through it, there's like, yeah, they're like torn a little bit. Honestly, no idea if it's supposed to be that way, but it looks really, really cool. Um, but this one is also a really short read. It's only 274 pages, so should be an easy one to get through. This is one that I have picked up several times while book shopping and then put it back on the shelf. So finally snagged it, but this one is by Ruth Ware, who I actually really love, and this is The It Girl. This is a thriller mystery following a woman on the search for answers a decade after her friend's murder. She realizes that the friends she thought she knew all have something to hide, including a murder. So I know this one is going to be good. <laughs> Another thriller, this one I had not seen before. This is Bleeding Heart Yard by Ellie Griffiths. A murderer strikes at a school reunion, but the classmates are no strangers to death. Is it possible to forget that you've committed a murder? When Cassie Fitzgerald was at school in the late 1990s, she and her friends killed a fellow student. Almost 20 years later, Cassie is happily married, a mother who loves her job as a police officer. She closely guards the secret that she has all but erased from her memory. So we'll see how this one goes. It definitely sounds good. I don't think I've read any other books by this author, so we'll see how it goes. I did get one rom-com, okay? I know it's been like spooky thriller central. Honestly, all of the hardcover romance books were gone. Those definitely went first. I decided to only buy items that were on sale this time around, so I didn't grab any other like paperbacks or anything else that kind of caught my eye, because this will always be there, and maybe there will be a sale later. Anyways, this one is In a New York Minute by Kate Spencer, and I actually decided to pick this one up because Christina Lauren has a quote on the front, and I do trust her judgment. A sweet, hilarious treat is what she said. And this one is actually a debut novel, so... We'll see how it goes. The tagline on this one is, the love of your life could be just a subway stop away. This debut is a perceptive reminder that fate can have a funny sense of humor and that love can happen in a New York minute. I also just liked how colorful the cover was. And the very last book that I have is also one that has been on my list for a while. This is Nora Goes Off Script by Annabelle Monaghan. Nora's life is about to get a rewrite. The main character of this book is a romance screenwriter, but her husband up and leaves her. She ends up turning her collapsed life into the perfect screenwrite. She ends up selling her script to a big screen company and it is set to film. And a former Sexiest Man Alive is cast to play her ex-husband. I'm sure we can all assume where this leads, but it sounds very cute. There's also a quote from Beth O'Leary on the back, who I also adore as an author, and it says, I love this book with my whole heart. It's smart, fresh, and full of humor and warmth. So I do have high hopes for this one. So that is my Barnes & Noble haul. I will link all of the books that I ended up picking up down below. So check those out if any of those caught your eye. I'm not sure if the sale will still be ongoing by the time I post this video, but if it is, it is in store only. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you again soon. Bye.